now remark on spline spline provide provide better approximation to the better approximation to the behavior of functions behavior of functions that have abrupt local changes abrupt abrupt means drastic drastic local changes means there are some functions where the behavior of the function is suddenly changes such in such type of functions if we use spline then we can find more accurate value that is the meaning and further further splines performs splines perform better than better than higher order polynomial approximations higher order polynomial approximations this is the benefit of the using of splines okay now first problem obtain the cubic obtain the cubic spline approximation obtain the cubic spline approximation for the following data for the following data what is the data is given as x versus f of x the data is given 0 1 2 minus 1 3 29 minus 1 3 29 solution and the conditions given with uh, m not equal to 0 and m2 equal to 0 hence interpolate hence interpolate at uh, x equal to 0 0.5 1.5 x equal 0 0.5 and uh, 1.5 okay here x not equal to 0 f not equal to minus 1 x1 equal to 1 f1 equal to 3 x2 equal to 2 and f2 equal to 29 f2 equal to 29 now here x values are here the values of x values of x are equispaced equispaced with the common difference h with the common difference h equal to 1 right 0 1 and 2 the common difference is h equal to 1 therefore let us use the cubic spline interpolation for equispaced data therefore now spline spline polynomial cubic spline one can say cubic spline polynomial in interval xi minus 1 comma xi is what is the formula fi of x equal to okay 1 by 6h xi minus x whole cube m i minus 1 plus x minus x i minus 1 whole cube m i right plus xi minus x whole by h this is f i minus 1 minus h square by 6 m i minus 1 plus x minus x i minus 1 by h f i minus h square by 6 m i this is the spline interpolation formula cubic spline in in what interval x i minus 1 to x i where where what the what is the relation between m's and given by uh, m i minus 1 plus 4 m i plus m i plus 1 is equal to 6 by h square of f i plus 1 minus 2 f i plus 
f i minus 1. This is 2, equation 2. What is m stands for? m i stands for double derivative, double derivative of f of x i. Okay. Now, uh, therefore, for i equal to 1, starting with 1, for this is for what? Uh, this is equation 1 and 2 for i equal to 1 to n, 1 to n. For i equal to 1, for i equal to 1, uh, equation 2 gives what m0 plus 4m1 plus m2 m2 equal to 6 into h value 1 okay so this is f2 minus 2f1 plus f0 and since first always find all mi's therefore let us use equation 2 first given what is m0 is equal to 0 m0 0 and m2 0 m0 0 and m2 what are the endpoints here points are what data points are x0 x1 x2 initial point x0 and end point is x2 end point is x2 so m0 mn both are zeros okay therefore this m since m0 m2 this gives what is m1 value for m1 equal to what i'm getting this is 6 into f2 from the table f2 is 29 and 2 into f1 is 3 and uh, f0 is 1 so this equal to 132 from this what is m1 value 33 m1 value 33 okay next one now what is the spline spline function uh, from equation 1 on the interval the data is what x versus f 0 1 2 so First interval is 0, 1 and second interval is 1, 2. On the interval 0, 1, on the sub interval 0, 1, what is spline? The cubic spline is. The cubic spline is. Okay. And uh, how to write this? The cubic spline. One can write cubic spline is. Idea is this xi minus 1, xi is now equivalent to what? 0, 1. So, xi minus 1 value 0 and xi value 1. So, f of x equal to 1 by 6, right? This is, what is this value? This is for a 0, 1, 0 means what? x0. This is x1, x2. So, this is x0 and x1. x0 and x1. So, one can write x1 minus x whole cube m0 plus x minus xi minus 1 means x0 whole cube m1 plus x1 minus x f0 minus h value 1 1 by 6 m0 plus x minus x0 f1 minus 1 by 6 m1 this is equal to 1 by 6 okay 1 by 6 and m0 that is 33 x cube x1 value 1 uh, plus x0 value 0 so m1 value i got 33 after some after substituting everything x1 value 1 this term 1 minus x into m0 value 0 already m0 is what 0 x1 value 1 minus x and a minus 1 plus <coughs> next value this m0 value 0 and uh, x minus x naught x naught is 0 so x value x cube m1 value 33 and coming to this term is this okay f naught is minus 1 m naught is 0 so that term 0 next one x minus x naught that means x into f1 f1 value 3 m1 value 33 by 6 so after simplification f of x the cubic polynomial is 1 by 2 11 x cube minus 3x minus 2 on what interval this is 0 comma 1 interval on interval 0 comma 1 next one on 1 comma 2 interval on 1 comma 2 interval the cubic spline the cubic spline is now what is the comparison this is 1 comma 2 is taken as nothing but xi minus 1 comma xi indirectly this is x1 and x2 the data points therefore 
f of x is 1 by 6 formula x2 minus x whole cube m1 plus x minus x1 whole cube m2 plus x2 minus x f1 minus 1 by 6 m1 plus x minus x1 f2 minus 1 by 6 m2 okay according to same similar just interval is changed now x instead of x0 x1 the interval is now x1 x2 substituting all the values f of x equal to 1 by 6 2 minus x whole cube into 33 plus 2 minus x into this is 3 3 minus 1 by 6 33 plus x minus 1 into 29 x minus 1 into 29 that is equal to uh, 11 by 2 2 minus x whole cube plus 63 by 2 x minus 34 this is f of x cubic polynomial spline in interval 1 comma 2 in interval 1 comma 2 okay uh, this is one polynomial and previous one is another next one what is the question at point 5 since x equal to 0 0.5 lies in the interval in the interval what is the interval 0 comma 1 okay f of 0 0.5 is taken as the consider the cubic polynomial cubic polynomial over 0 1 what is that uh, 1 by 2 11 0 0.5 cube minus 3 into 0 0.5 minus 2 this is equal to minus 17 by 16 minus 17 by 16 next one since x equal to 1.5 belongs to what interval 1 comma 2 f of 1.5 is calculated by using this polynomial cubic spline so 11 by 2 this is 2 minus 1.5 cube plus 63 by 2 into 1.5 minus 34 this value is uh, this value completely equal to 223 by 16 this is one problem based on cubic spline problem based on cubic spline let us do one more problem the next problem is obtain the cubic spline obtain the cubic spline approximation to the following data to the following data now we are increasing the length of the data 0 1 2 3 one more point 1 2 33 2 44 with the m not equal to m3 equal to 0 hence interpolate at x equal to 2.5 interpolate at x equal to 2.5 solution same logic here x not equal to 0 f not equal to 1 x1 equal to 1 f1 equal to 2 x2 equal to 2 f2 equal to 33 x3 equal to 3 f3 equal to 244 so the length of the data 3 so what are the number of sub intervals are sub intervals are what 0 1 1 2 and 2 3 so in these three sub intervals we have to find cubic polynomial okay now what is i write the cubic polynomial equation and m's equation uh, the relation the relation among m's is what is the relation among m's m i minus 1 plus 4 m i plus m i plus 1 equal to 6 by h square f i plus 1 minus 2 f i plus f i minus 1 okay this is for what i equal to 1 comma 2 i equal to 1 comma 2 for i equal to 1 why i equal to 1 comma 2 this is f i minus 1 is there m i minus 1 so i must be 
begin with 1 and i plus 1 is there so last what is the last point uh, 3 x3 is the last point so when i equal to 2 2 plus 1 m3 m3 means this is the last data point 3 so this equation is valid for i equal to 1 and 2 this is the idea and for i equal to 1 what is this equation we have we have this is m0 plus 4m1 plus m2 equal to 6 into f2 minus 2 f1 plus f0 so this m0 already is 0 right m0 is 0 uh, so 4m1 plus m2 equal to 6 into 33 minus 4 plus 1 substitute all these values f2 value this is f2 value 33 f1 value 2 and f0 value so this we are getting 180 and for i equal to 2 for i equal to 2 we have what is the equation m1 plus 4 m2 plus m3 equal to 6 into 2 means minus 2 f2 plus f1 so what this gives this implies m1 it will be there 4 m2 will be there and what is m3 value 0 it is given m3 value 0 and substituting all these f2 f3 and all these values we are getting 1080 1080 okay now solving those two equations what are the equations now 4 m1 plus m2 let me write we have 4 m1 plus uh, m2 equal to 180 and uh, m1 plus 4 m2 equal to 1080 solving this solving we get m1 equal to minus 24 and m2 equal to 276 m2 equal to 276 now on the interval 0 comma 1 that is nothing but x0 comma x1 the cubic cubic spline the cubic spline is again you write the formula but i am substituting directly on this interval f of x equal to 1 by 6 x1 minus x whole cube m0 x minus x0 whole cube m1 okay plus x1 minus x f0 minus h square h value 1 here 1 by 6 m0 plus x minus x0 f1 minus 1 by 6 m1 1 by 6 m1 here what is h common difference among x values that is 1 so this implies f of x equal to if i substitute everything all the values this is x cube into minus 24 plus 1 minus x plus x into 2 minus 1 by 6 minus 24 this is equal to what is the polynomial after simplification minus 4x cube plus 5x plus 1 5x plus 1 now on the interval 1 comma 2 what is 1 comma 2 now becomes x1 comma x2 x1 comma x2 what is f of x f of x is the cubic the cubic spline is the cubic spline is f of x equal to formula 1 by 6 just modify this x values m1 plus x minus x1 whole cube m2 plus x2 minus x f1 h square by 6 h value 1 m1 plus x minus x1 f2 minus 1 by 6 m2 substitute all the values uh, simplify this you will get f of x equal to substituting m1 m2 values and all those simplifying you will get 15 x cube minus 162 x square plus 167 x minus 53 and one more interval is there what is that 2 comma 3 now on the interval 2 comma 3 this 2 comma 3 is what x2 comma x3 the cubic spline is the cubic spline 
is f of x equal to 1 by 6 of what now x3 minus x whole cube m2 plus x minus x2 whole cube m3 plus x3 minus x f2 minus 1 by 6 m2 plus x minus x2 f3 minus 1 by 6 m3 substituting all the values okay x3 values m values m3 values you will get minus 46 x cube plus 414 x square minus 985 x plus 715 715 this is cubic spline on each sub interval now what is the question uh, since x equal to 2.5 belongs to what interval last interval 2 comma 3 f of 2.5 is calculated by this polynomial minus 46 2.5 cube plus 414 2.5 square minus 985 2.5 plus 715 and the value is 121.25 this is about cubic spline definitely there will be one question in examination on cubic spline so be thorough with this concept